Next week, the Montgomery Zoo is beginning its Zoofari winter camp. Plus, it's always a good time to enjoy the Christmas Lights Festival. Joining us here in studio, Stephen Pierce, Danielle Crow, and Zuby Doo, the zoo mascot. Thanks so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. Thank you for, having, for having us. us. Danielle, tell us a little bit about the Zoofari winter camp and what kids get to do. Absolutely. So, Zoofari winter camp um, is nine days this year. Parents get to pick and choose which days they want their kids to come so you don't have to come every day. Gives you a chance to uh, maybe get a little bit of last minute Christmas shopping done or a place for the kids to go while you're at work and they're out of school. Um, and we're going to do all kinds of different things from crafts to scavenger hunts. We're going to see live animals. We're going to get to talk with some zookeepers. Um, and they're going to get to meet with Zuby Doo and as our Zuby Doo claws. <laughs> and they're going to get to have cookies and pictures. A great opportunity as those Absolutely. kids are going to be out of school all week next week. And of course, we know the Christmas Lights Festival is still going on. Stephen, I just said I haven't been this year, but we're trying to go. How's well, we it going? We can't wait to see you. Uh, we're holding it every night as goes all the way through Christmas Eve and Christmas night. Uh, we are open on Christmas Eve. That's a great time to come out and kind of wear your kids out before you <laughs> want to put them to sleep that night. And then we are open Christmas night, but we're open every night uh, starting at 530. And if you want to come and visit the zoo during the day and then stick around for Christmas lights that night, we also have a combo ticket available for that. Oh, neat. And we were just talking, it's going to be very cool this weekend, but also very festive. Talk about all the work that goes into putting up those lights every year? Uh, it does take a while to get all the lights up. We have um, multiple light displays, plus, you know, just thousands and thousands of lights. Plus, over at the Man Museum, we also have our Christmas Tree Village, which has an assortment of 25 trees that have been decorated by different businesses and companies. In fact, you guys we, we have, a tree, have a tree. We always have a tree, yes. It's, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And that's also an opportunity for people to go and visit Santa Claus while they're there. And then, of course, if you want to ride the train that's available, the Skylift is available, and it's kind of a unique way to kind of visit the zoo at night and be able to see all the lights. Now, just one thing to caution people, if they're coming to see the animals, the animals are in their night quarters at night, but if you do want to come see them in the day, we do have that daily combo. It's always a good time. You can see the Christmas trees, take that picture with Santa, have hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's just a really good time. As far as the winter camp goes, can parents still sign up, and where can they go for more information on Absolutely. that? Absolutely. So they can visit our website, MontgomeryZoo.com to register kids. We do already have four days that are full. The first four days, the 23rd to the, the um, and I'm sorry, the, 20, the 19th to the 22nd are full. We don't have any more space, but we have space on the 23rd and then all four days, the 27th through 30th after um, Christmas are still available. So there are still so days. So we still have some, yes. some, some spaces. <laughs> so you can still call or go to the website and yes, sign up. Stephen, Danielle, and Zuby Doo, or the Santa Claus version. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you for having us.